We are learning much more today about what led to the arrest of an Aventura police officer by the Broward Sheriff's Office. And Local 10's Roy Ramos live now with what happened when the defendant faced a judge today. Roy. Calvin, yeah, in court we learned that this may have all stemmed from an unlawful stop that happened in the city of Pompano Beach. Well, two people filed a complaint. Investigators with the Broward Sheriff's Office looked into it, and now it is that Aventura police officer facing some pretty serious charges. David Delgado Esteban. In a green jumpsuit and handcuffed, Aventura police officer David Delgado found himself on the other end of the law as he faced a Broward County judge Thursday. In court, we learned the 30-year-old who took the oath to protect and serve is now facing serious charges that include two counts of kidnapping, two counts of aggravated assault, two counts of engaging in a criminal offense with a deadly weapon and battery. The defendant is a police officer. There was an allegation of a phone that was uh, stolen and uh, in retrieving that this is where the kidnapping charges come in. In the arrest warrant we obtained for the Broward Sheriff's Office, it states the incident all stemmed from Delgado unlawfully stopping and detaining two people in an area out of his jurisdiction, nowhere near the city of Aventura where he works. He's an officer. He's been working with the Aventura Police Department for a number of years. We reached out to the Aventura Police Department who tell us this started with allegations of misuse of authority and a false arrest incident in Pompano Beach. In an official statement, the department said the complaint was filed by two individuals and an immediate internal affairs investigation was initiated by our agency. We have fully cooperated with the Broward County Sheriff's Office to ensure a thorough and transparent investigation. Based on their findings, they have decided to proceed with charges. Roy Ramos with Local 10. I went to the plantation home of Delgado to learn more about what happened, and while no one answered the door there, he will now have to post a $65,000 bond before he's released from the Broward County Jail. I do find probable cause. And if Delgado is to post that $65,000 bond, he will still have to surrender his passport and be fitted for a GPS monitoring device. As for his work status, he has since been suspended from Aventura Police. For now here in Fort Lauderdale, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News.